one of the most exciting things about Guardians of the Galaxy is that it's going to feel so different from the other movies. It doesn't take place on Earth. It's not Iron Man or Captain America 2, which takes place kind of in a, gr in a grounded uh, Earth environment. It's almost entirely in outer space. It's a big space opera, science fiction adventure. And in that way, it feels totally different. It takes place in a different, in a different galaxy than all the, other, uh, all the other movies. But at the same time, it still feels distinctly like a Marvel branded movie. It still has the same sense of humor and action and scope and sense of stakes and exciting characters at the core. At the beginning, every, everyone in the movie, all of our heroes, Quill, Drax, Gamora, Groot, Rocket, they all kind of think that they're worthless in their own way. They, they think they're scumbags or thieves. They just don't think they have anything to offer the world. And by the end of the movie, they've kind of found it, they've found it in themselves that they're the only people who can save it. It's incredibly exciting. Um, we've assembled a cast for this movie that may be the best we've ever had in a Marvel movie. Uh, between... Benicio Del Toro and Glenn Close and John C. Riley and Bradley Cooper and Chris Pratt and Zoe Saldana and Dave Bautista and Vin Diesel and everyone else who's going to be in this film. Uh, it's an amazing cast from top to bottom. They've all done an incredible job. I think fans are going to love the, uh, the sense of humor that this movie has. It's probably the funniest Marvel movie that we've ever done. James has a great sense of humor in his writing and his direction and the way he frames the scene. Um, and I think people are going to be surprised in the same way they were surprised at the Avengers at the, uh, the amount of comedy that's included here.